Hello everyone, this is Brad and welcome back to Boss Life Beauty. This is a video channel that talks about over 50 beauty and lifestyle, sometimes with a creative twist. Today we're gonna to talk hair color. I'm gonna color my hair with this John Frieda Level 10. I have been using this hair color for a really long time. We're gonna see what it looks like. It's really, really gorgeous and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use. And I'm gonna show you how I took a simple $69 bookshelf from Walmart and turned it into my home office in my apartment. So if you want more videos like this, subscribe. Let me go get this on my hair and I'll be right back and let's get started. So I'm back and we have the hair color in my hair and I'm just gonna sit here for 25 to 30 minutes this is the first time I'm using this color on my ends so I did all of my hair but if I were just doing my roots I would only do the roots and I just love the foam texture and I love the way that it gets creamier and richer but what I most love about it is there's no demarcation between my roots and my hair and I had told you in my last video about my hairdresser and my beachy waves but I have to tell you, there's gonna be some changes coming down the pike in my job that's gonna cut a little bit of money out of my bottom line. So this month, I decided that I was gonna skip the hairdresser for my collar, and I really don't think my hair needs cut as I'm growing it, as you all know, out of my short pixie haircut. So I'm gonna skip this month. I'm gonna go with this little brighter. This is two shades brighter than I am now, this brighter blonde. I always liked my hair a little lighter. I've been wearing it more natural, which has been really fun, but I think I wanna go up a shade. I am wearing my Avon Dew Kiss. Do you guys remember Avon Dew Kiss on my lips? I am obsessed with this stuff. I carry one with me everywhere. It has a little bit of a pink tint and I just love it. Next week, I wanna do a video on the new Chanel makeup. Now, Chanel has this amazing ad and it's called Nudes and it's a lip balm and a very neutral eyeshadow palette and a very pale bronzer and just mascara, which is my favorite look. So I went on over to Chanel and I'm gonna put the link to the video below so you can go take a look at it and tell me what you think. But I am not gonna spend like almost over $400 on like five products. I put everything into my cart and I'm like, yeah, right, I could go to Honolulu and stay in a hotel for five days. I don't think so. So I'm gonna see if in the drug stores or through Avon that I can come up with these same beauty products and get the same look and then share it with you on my YouTube channel. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm gonna go rinse this out of my hair. I'm gonna dry it. I'll come back and we'll see what it looks like. And in the meantime, I'm gonna show you how I turned my $69 Walmart desk into my home office. I hope you enjoy. See you in a minute. So I got this desk at Walmart for $69 on sale and I fell in love with it. And then I figured if I take the middle shelf out, I got it in black, I could fit my computer in the middle and that way I could create a cute little office space saving desk. Now I found this cute little paper holder at Target. I put my albums and my binders and all my stuff on the bottom and I'm able to work. It's really comfortable. I put a cool chair there that I found at the thrift shop. It's a really neat like bedroom slipper chair. And now we're going to move into my closet because I have another desk in there. There's my minimal closet. And I have this desk that I bought at Ikea. It's really an outdoor table, but I needed a square desk to fit the space and this fit perfectly. So I have a sewing room slash office also in my closet. So I have a bookshelf I got at Walmart where I keep all of my crafting supplies. I got this awesome mirror at Walmart when I was in Iowa on a layover and I had it shipped home. And I just love this cute little flotaki rug that I got also at um, Ross. So I'm loving my little room. 
Okay, everybody, what do you think? I'm all showered and my hair's washed and dried. I blue dry it so that I could show you what my hair looked like. You know, I probably would let it dry a little curly and do my little spindly thing, but sometimes it's fun to blow dry your hair. I didn't put any makeup on because I wanted you to see my this hair color against my natural skin. And I think it came out great. It's not that much blonder, um, but it's just enough. It took it up about two shades and I'm loving it. Okay, everybody, so now I'm adding this little update to my video because after wearing my hair with this John Frieda number 10 that I used to use all the time on my hair, my hair was a little yellower than I wanted it to be because I'm so used to having my hair now closer to my natural color. So although I love this color because my skin tone is pink and because I'm getting a little older, this color that I used to wear 10 years ago was a little, I think, too bright for my skin. So what I did, being a hairdresser, I know that little tips and tricks, instead of going to Sally Beauty Supply and getting a T18 or T11 Wella Color Charm Toner with 10 volume peroxide, I know that I've used this before from L'Oreal, which is called Brass Banisher. And for any of you who are blonde, this is great and um, to use in between your shimmer lights to keep your hair not so bright. So I put this on for about eight minutes. It says you can do it from five to 10. I think I did it for eight minutes. And I'm loving the color of my hair now. Now it's like perfect. I also wanna share with you that I gave myself a haircut. And some of you may know about her already, but for years, oh, since she came on board YouTube, I've been following Elle Bangs because she's a hairdresser based in San Francisco and she's blonde, I'm blonde. She gives the best advice for your hair. So I have used her method before. I'm trying to save my $225 because I tip her $30. It's 100 for my hair, 100 for the color. So I decided to cut my own hair and it came out great. And I used the four quadrant method that she shows so that when you're cutting your hair, so when you cut your hair yourself, you basically just divide your hair into four quadrants and I'm gonna put the link to her video below and then you pull your hair forward if you want to keep your hair long and then after you trim it you can cut into it a little bit to give it some body and wave so I am so happy with the way it came out so I do have hair cutting professional hair cutting scissors so I cut my own hair and I followed her um, method now even though I have a hairdresser's license and I know a lot about color, I mainly was a manicurist and I was a really good manicurist. I was a manicurist to the local celebrities where I used to live in New Jersey. I owned a nail salon for years and I know everything there is to know about having beautiful nails, but I never really, and I know a lot about color, but I never really got into the hair cutting aspect of it because when I graduated beauty school in the 80s, fake nails were a big rage. Remember acrylic nails were huge and I saw the financial potential so I learned how to do it from the best person in the area where I lived and then I kept working for people that were better than her and I definitely became one of the best in my industry in fake nails all different kinds and then after the fake nail craze kind of went out I focused on doing beautiful aromatherapy nourishing manicures and so I got into that but I always was able to have my hair cut by the best people because I worked in these amazing salons so again I don't have makeup on because I want you to see what a difference the ash color makes or taking out some of those yellow tones against my natural pink skin so although I loved brightening up my overall color and I have no regrets because I wanted my hair to be a couple shades lighter, it did need to be toned down but my roots were just a little bit too yellow. It lifted them up a little bit more. Had What I really should have done is used it on my ends and then used a level nine on my roots, which I think I'm gonna do next time, but I'm so happy with the way it came out. I'm so excited. So thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video and want more videos like that please subscribe below hit the little bell you'll be notified when I upload a new video I'm so happy to have you here I'll see you next Sunday and I'm so sorry this video is getting to you so late but my work schedule has been really crazy so thank you so much and I'll see you later